Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today, we're gonna make some stroganoff. So, let's get to cooking. All right, so for the basic stroganoff, you want your egg noodles. I'm just gonna use the last of what I have here. And then you want half of an onion, eight ounce of sour cream, a pound of beef, you know, whatever beef you want to use, and a small can of your cream of mushroom soup. All right, so there's a few things that we want to start out with. So first, the pot of water for our pasta, the pan with our meat, and a must-have, at least for me, for this, is toast. So we're actually going to start preheating the oven right now, even though the bread is not gonna take very long, so 425. And then we're gonna turn on the water so that the water can heat up while we're cooking the meat as well. So you don't have to like add the same seasonings that I'm gonna add. You can literally add whatever kind of seasonings you want and you feel comfortable adding. The weirdest combinations of like flavors makes like the best stuff. So I'm gonna add some weird stuff in this, but it's also, you don't wanna add too much either. So one of those weird items that I found that I really like adding to stuff is ranch seasoning. Onion powder. Garlic salt. black pepper applewood and I know it says rub but I'm going to use it as some seasoning not a whole lot just a little I've always found that it's easier to tell if you have enough seasoning if you smell the meat and you smell the seasoning that you added instead of the raw like bloody taste not taste smell rely on your smell if it smells like seasonings you probably have enough i usually start off with a spatula i don't know why i didn't this time but that's whatever but anyways, so we have our water going, we have our meat going, the oven is preheating. All right, so while we're waiting on the meat, we're gonna start on this. You want half. So, don't forget to rinse. And basically, we're just going to dice all of these. I did this in a little weird way, but that's okay. I'm also not using a sharp knife. Well, no, I am using a sharp knife. I'm not using a chef's knife because... This knife is newer. Alrighty, and now that we have the onion done, we can go ahead and add the onion to the meat. And mix that in. It doesn't matter how big your meat chunks are. I personally don't like them too big, so I will be cutting these down more as I cook it. Now, if you have a smaller onion, it, you can go ahead and put the whole thing in there or if you just really like a whole lot of onion and you prefer to put the whole one in there obviously do that it's not going to ruin the dish if you don't like onion and you don't want to put it in there it's going to taste just the same so our pasta water is done so we're just going to go ahead and add I 
don't have to swooshy swash it like I just did, but that's the timer for the oven preheating. However, the bread only takes about eight minutes, done. However, I will set an 11 minute timer. When the timer hits eight minutes from the pasta, that's when I will throw in the bread. So that I do recommend putting some parchment paper just so that the bread doesn't stick as much. I usually do one bread per person. So it's just me, so I'm only gonna do one sling, single slice of the bread. And then and then in this, please don't fall. Put the mushroom soup. And I don't like mushrooms either, but it's good in this. So your sour cream. And mix those together to form your sauce. All right. Putting that in there because we're about to add it. But what we're going to do real quick is back up to get this bread out. strain the pasta we're gonna add the meat back in all right so we can start by putting our noodles Topping it off with our sauce. I decided against the salad. It didn't look how I wanted it to look. So, no thanks. <laughs> Finish it off with your bread. Okay. And of course, we gotta have our spooky mug. We made it, now we gotta try it. Oh my God, I haven't had stroganoffs in so long. I mean, this is the second time I've made it. And normally, my mom's the one that makes it. Guys. Let's try the bread first. good okay if you guys have enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and please let me know down in the comments if there's anything else that you would like to see me make I'm up for suggestions and trying new things so just let me know and I will see you guys in the next video bye